going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Alex and guess what? It is officially spooky season. It's October, baby! Which means more horror movies. And that means that I will be shitting myself, having nightmares, and not knowing what to do with the rest of my life. Today, we're gonna be checking out The Conjuring 2. You sick, twisted bastards. You sick, twisted bastards. I don't want to do this at all, but y'all want me to. So I'm gonna do it. Very one-sided relationship we have, yes? Yeah, thanks for that. Do this. Change the light to match my blood pressure. Last time I watched The Conjuring, <laughs> I was terrified. And then during the edit, I was terrified. To the point where I had to bring my wife in here and made her sit in that chair until I finished editing the video. I didn't want to be alone. And I also had no idea that The Conjuring is like a, a, a universe. There's a list of movies. I, at this point, I should have just reacted to Lord of the Damn Rings. It'd get more views anyway. <sighs> Opened a can of dicks. All right, Ed and Lorraine. Let's see what's happening. Jesus Christ. I got my Bible, I got my cross, and we're ready to go. I don't want to do this, dude. Okay, man up. Man up. There isn't much that rattles either of us anymore, but this one, this one still haunts me. Great. Great. And for those of y'all that are like, hey, you're over-exaggerating, try watching a horror movie alone at night, Amityville, with headphones on. Okay, we ready? Then let's get started. Why get all the light out? Envision yourself in a halo of glowing white light. It will protect you. Okay. Glowing white light. Got it. Ronnie DeFeo had brutally murdered his entire family in this house. We'd hope to discover if the killings had been motivated purely by anger, or if he had been under the influence of something demonic. <sighs> okay. A lot of people mention like Ed and Lorraine's lives have been pretty fucked up like with the stuff that they've done. Not necessarily all of this ghost hunting for lack of a better term, but just like their past. Drop some comments down below because I don't I don't know what they're talking about. Oh hell no. Ah! What did you do? Fuck! Oh my god. Is this the story of Amityville horror? Oh my god. I don't know what was seen for her to freak out like that. Oh, what the f fuck is that, dude? Dude, that is... Ew. I'm putting my hood on. It makes me feel safer. We're through. It's time to come back. I have to see. What is happening? Why you gotta laugh? That doesn't make anything better. It wants to show me. It wants to show you what? <laughs> Ew. Dude, this isn't good for people. This isn't good for people's hearts. Oh my god! Oh no. Wait, there's someone- is that- It's gonna be in the mirror, it's gonna be close up! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is as close to hell as I ever want again. Oh, God. Ed and Lorraine Warren's investigation into the Amityville haunting sparked a media firestorm and catapulted them into the public eye. Meanwhile, a haunting that many would later compare to Amityville was unfolding thousands of miles away in Enfield, England. It would draw the Warrens into one of their most diabolical cases based on the true story. I don't think I got a great answer last time. To what extent of the story has to be true for them to claim based on a true story? Obviously not all of it. That's a cool montage. I mean, I never really thought about that. For some reason, you know, I know that, you know, hauntings and spirits aren't North American, right? But I guess the shit goes on all over the world. Do y'all believe in this stuff? Drop a comment down below. Is this something y'all believe in? Or something you think is just a uh, fucking fairy dust? No way. If my mom ever said that, I'd be dead. So don't get caught, you priss. 
Here, hold this. Gotta give you back the spirit board that we made. Oh no. You're all smoking cigarettes and making Ouija boards. It's not good. I think I'll let Keith French kiss me. What? What are you two doing? Janet, give that to me. Of course, she's the one that gets caught. Teacher takes a drag. Tell me she takes a drag. Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. How's your day? Not good. Why? What happened? It's a long story. I'll tell you later. It's not a long story. You just wanted to smoke a cigarette. I wish I had an accent. B -b 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 Billy. Shut up, Peter. Lesbo. What? Are you talking about your mum? Kids are so fucked up. Ignore him. Okay. It's so sad. Janet, our thing's not bad enough around here that I've got to get a call from your headmistress who says that you was caught smoking. I wasn't. <laughs> As she's smoking. No, Billy, I didn't get, get any bloody some... biscuits because we don't have any bloody money. Wow. Sounds like the whole city's burning down in here. <laughs> Look what I found. Biscuits. <laughs> but you said we, we don't have any money. Well, I've been meaning to quit smoking anyway. Hmm. When parents don't have the money to give the kids what they want, but they still find a way to do it. I mean, that's real. It's powerful, man. Something tells me she's gonna be the first to get damn possessed, bro. Yeah, cause she's fucking with the Ouija board. Have y'all done a Ouija board? I've done it a couple times. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? And in that situation, you never know if someone's dragging it, right? Like... Is dad ever coming home? Oh, that's so sad. Don't worry about it. It's just a stupid game. Is it real? <sighs> Still feeling like this clock's gonna stop at 3.07. Isn't that the time from the original movie? You're gonna get yanked in bed? I hate these fucking scenes, dude. Not bad. Oh, what the hell? <sighs> they are so sudden sounds, dude. I hate that. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God, you guys see the creepy ass doll on the dresser? Oh. No, Barmy. Barmy? She don't listen to what I say anymore, Pegs. She don't listen to what I say anymore, Pegs. <laughs> oh, okay. What are we shooting, damn English Moms of the Year calendar? Swimsuit edition? What the hell's going on? Ed Warren's never seen a house that he didn't think was haunted. That's not true. Be careful who you call a liar. What are you gonna do about it? Damn, Ed's not fucking around. Could you please take I a know, breath? I know, I know, I know, I'm counting to ten. I mean, with all the blood pressure increases that Ed and Lorraine experienced, fucking Ed's got anger issues. Makes sense. The crooked man. Oh God, I don't want to see that. You promise. God, he's such a cute kid. Why these ghosts gotta haunt just a single mom who's struggling to keep her kids happy? It's not right. Do not go outside. Oh my god. Janet? Janet, wake up, you're dreaming. Oh my god, some dude, the anticipation in this bullshit is ah! This is my house! What the no. fuck? What are you doing here? Playing a game with Billy. What is happening? Oh, Billy, Janet, it's alright. It's not okay. She's talking in a man's voice. Stay away from Billy! Leave us alone, you idiot! Shut up, what you doing? There's no one here! Who's talking? <sighs> what the fuck is happening, dude? No, you leave that on. You leave that shit on. Oh my god! It's gonna come back out. Someone's gonna roll it out. No! No! Just go to fucking bed, kid! Oh my god. There's someone in my tent! Grab a damn gun! See? Nothing. You just had a bad dream. That's all. Dude, like, what are you- what is your plan, okay? You hear a creak down below in the house, and you're just gonna go explore without anything to beat this dude with. Why is it always going downstairs in the dark, bro? Oh shit, is it the girl? Oh, what are you doing down here? She's gonna talk in that deep-ass voice, isn't she? You're burning up. Come on. Come on, let's get you back upstairs, eh?
That is so creepy. Is it some dude? The guy that fucking killed his kids was sitting in there, always sitting in the chair watching TV or something? Do you know when you'll be home? Yeah, get home now. Is the remote gonna be gone again? Oh, what the fuck? I'm already checking to see how much longer this fucking movie, dude. Oh my gosh, it's been 32 minutes. I had this crazy dream. Saw this thing. When I woke up, I couldn't get out of my head. So, well, maybe this might help. It's exactly who she saw when she went on her vision. Yeah, I know I'm no Picasso, but I didn't think it was that bad. Why pick this profession? We need to stop. No new cases. Thank you! Dude, starting to speak some sense. Could I ask why? Do you trust me? You know I do. Please trust me now. Okay. I mean, I'm with Lorraine. And for me, it would have happened way sooner. Frankly, I'd never be in that position because I'd never do that freak-ass job, but... Are you tying yourself to the bed? Oh, so she can't sleepwalk. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Okay. Again? I... Oh. Okay, I... Oh, God, I don't know what to say. Wake this bitch up! Do not! Oh my god, why? I don't fucking get it. Oh my god. Yep. Ah! Oh my god, that is so creepy. That is so creepy. Will you say something? Oh my Jesus. Oh God, she's gonna take the shit off and something's gonna be there. Shout out to this little girl actor cause she's doing a great job. Oh my God. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Have you two been playing with this? Taking turns, scaring the wits out of each other? Oh! Yeah, okay, a family that I can get on board with. Once this shit starts happening, you're fucking dipping. The bloody thing went clear across the room. Top of the bottom, there's no one there. Okay, all right. What's he doing? Oh, we've, we've taught him to ring the bell when he wants to go. Uh-oh. Flashbacks. Last time there was a dog in a Conjuring movie got killed early. Police are at our house. Didn't actually see the man yourself. No. It's coming from inside the wall. Mice, maybe? Mice? Big bloody mouse. Yeah, seriously, what a dumbass suggestion. Well, there's a... Uh... Nothing we can do about that. <laughs> I think this is a bit beyond us. Priest at our church is a family friend. I'll ask him to call on you. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool, though, that in a movie, the cops show up, and then the thing that happens to the family happens in front of the cops. That's great. This is good so far. Good setup. Good scary movie. I'm about it thus far. Is it this damn nun? <sighs> Judy? Wasn't Judy just in the room? No. Who's that? Oh! Oh my gosh. Do not, where's Ed? Why? What? Oh shit, she's behind you! Is that it? Or is that the painting? <laughs> oh no. Dude, I know she's gonna be right fucking there. I don't, I don't care for this movie. What are y'all doing making me watch this shit? Oh no, Shadow's going to the bitch. She's gonna be alive. She's gonna wake up, dude. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh 
Oh shit! I'm sorry, Lorraine. Shit, she wants Ed? Oh my god! I'm okay. No, she's not okay! My name's Kent Allen. We're with the uh, television news program Wide Angle. I'd rather not have my business spread all over the telly, if you don't mind. Getting your side of the story out might be your best chance of finding help. I mean, that's a good call. The sheer number of documented incidents in this case is absolutely staggering. But Anita Gregory, a parapsychologist, is not convinced. Our principal characters here are all children, and children can be very ingenious pranksters. Pranksters my ass. I recently interviewed Janet and her 14-year-old sister, Margaret. What happened next will astonish you. I say again, is anybody there? I'm not gonna do it on damn TV. Janet, are you all right? What is happening to her? <laughs> Janet? Dude's like halfway smiling for the ratings of his show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What is your name? You don't belong here. All right, time to leave. Pack the shit up and let's go. My name is Bill Wilkins. I come from the grave. Oh, hell no. How did you die? An hemorrhage. And I fell asleep and I died in a chair in the corner. I like to hear them scream. <gasps> okay. Y'all got enough proof? Sorry. Do it. Wow. You and the kids can stay here as long as you like. Dude, I wouldn't invite those freak ass kids. I know that's sad and that's terrifying and terrible that they're going through that, but like, I'm not inviting that into my house. I think it is so cool that there's a scary movie where the family left the damn house. It's like all the things that people bitch about in scary movies, they're they're actually letting the characters of this show of this movie do them. Crooked ass man. Kid. Oh God, is the window open? Baron? Who the hell's Baron? Oh, the dog? Oh no. No, don't kill the dog. No! <laughs> what is happening? Boss, the crooked man. <laughs> uh, that's, not as, that's not so scary, that's kind of stupid, I think. Crooked soul spiraled into a crooked hell. Oh, shit. Oh, dear God. Oh, shit. So far, this is not as scary as the first Conjuring. Less jump scares, a little cheesy aspect to the, to the scare, right? My name is Bill Wilkins. Is coming from an 11 year old girl. So what do you want us to do? We'd like you to fly to London. Lorraine didn't want to do this. There is a family in London that desperately needs our help. I don't know how more of this they can take. They don't want us to get involved, just observe and report back. It's not that easy, they're gonna get involved. I had a premonition of your death. That's why you locked yourself away for eight days? You saw my death? Oh my gosh. The demon in your painting is real. If we keep doing this, you're going to die. Wow. Maybe you meant to prevent it from happening. Or like she said, it's a warning, right? You don't run from fights, but run from the damn devil. If anything turns out dangerous in any way, we're gonna tell the church and we're gonna get out. So interesting to see him flip-flop because like last movie, Ed was the one that didn't want to do it and Lorraine's like, hey, we need to fucking do this. Now it's swapped. That's interesting. Mr. and Mrs. Warren, I'm Morris Gross. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> this is, I bet you there's some weird people out there who watch this during Christmas. They're like, Christmas time again. Let's put on The Conjuring too. What? Fucking twisted. All right, do come in. It's just me and Janet here now. Oh God, Janet. I understand that Janet is levitated. Did that happen in here as well? Yeah, more than once. Holy shit. Why are there so many, oh, do they, they put those crosses up to? I'm hoping they keep things from moving around. Has it worked? Mm. No, we can hear it all night. Kind of probably just pissed it off more. You better stay, hey, you? Where are you? You better stay your ass there. You know, when I was about your age, um, I was visiting my mom at a hospital and I saw an angel. Of course, my mom and the nurses did not believe me but I knew it was real. Have any of y'all out there ever seen an angel? I felt the need to ask that question. How did you know you could trust the people you opened up to? Good question. I didn't, but I finally found someone who believed me. What did you do then? <laughs> I'm just so tired. Hmm. 
I bet. Everyone's afraid of me. Oh. Whatever is doing this to you wants you to feel this way. That's what makes it stronger. Where'd you get it from? My ex-husband bought all the furniture with the house when we moved in. Is your ex-husband still in the picture? Nope. He had twins with a woman from around the corner. Okay. What does it say? It said it wants to hurt you. Jesus. When did it say that? Right now. Yeah, it wants to hurt her because it's threatened by Ed and Lorraine, right? You ready for this? Guess so. Here we go. I'll be all right. God, that little girl, she's so cute. It just makes me upset. What do you want with this girl and her family? Of course it's gotta be raining too at this freak ass time. It says it won't talk with you while looking at me like this. I just feel safer with Ed and Lorraine here, man. Really do. So what do you think, Bill? Now come on out and talk to us. Here I come. Real weird. Your father calls you Edward. <laughs> Why don't you just leave these people alone? Because this is my house. Okay. Is Janet morphed into him now? I don't care what you believe in. You see this? Let go! Help it let go? I can't explain it. My heart is telling me to believe them. I heard that voice with my own ears. But all I can sense is their own fear. So interesting. I don't think I need the hood anymore. I don't think I can sleep this far away from you. <laughs> well, you're gonna. And I'll give you something to look forward to when we get home. Oh, Lorraine, you're a little frisky. It's proven that women get more sexually active or feeling like that whenever they're on vacation. Not that this is a vacation for them. It might actually might be a vacation for them. I don't know. That day with Camilla at school, I was holding the cigarette, but I wasn't going to take a puff, I swear. She's such like an innocent girl, dude. What the hell? She's on the ceiling. Help! Bill, you creepy fuck. Old ass man. I don't get what this is. Are these like, is this a dream? Ah! Ah! Fucking hell. Mother bitch. All these crosses are gonna drop from the wall, aren't they? Oh god, even worse. I don't really like that. Wait, how's she back in this room? Oh! Shit! There's someone in there. Oh! Two missing teeth. That's right, it's too big for one of the children. I tracked down the homeowner. His name was William Wilkins, and he died of a hemorrhage in the brain in that chair. Wow. All public information, by the way. She could have heard the whole story from a neighbor. Bring this bitch into the house, let her see for herself. But she teleported herself into a room locked from the outside, for goodness sake. And what about her voice? That's a good point. And she couldn't do it with water in her mouth until you looked away. Such a skeptic. I don't know what was worse, the demons or the people who prey on our willingness to believe in them. The demons. I'm telling you, but dude, you bring this skeptic to the house. Let her see. Oh, she's just using the whole thing as an excuse to get better housing from the council. She's already applied. Well, yeah, no shit. I'd apply everywhere to get new housing, too. Mr. and Mrs. Warren Boss. They got an Elvis record. Oh, <laughs> Blue Hawaii. Hope you don't mind. Oh, that's a great record, man. Oh, hi, guys. I missed you. Uh, it's so wholesome. Good, because the spirit in this house is a lot like that bully. Yes. And he's got it in for Janet. So you guys got to stick up for her, same way that they stick up for you. Well, we're going to have music in here one way or another. Whose guitar is that? No way, Ed, you play the guitar, buddy? Let's go. Wise <laughs> men say. I love that song. Only fools rush in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the lip, that was good, man. Would it be a sin? Ed, with the finger picking, let's go. Everybody now, take my hands, take my gold eyes too. Hey, that's sick. Gives me goosebumps, bro. Let's go. Falling in love with. 
I care. Thank you very much. He's good, man. Something grabbed my hand and yanked me right to the floor. You know what my dad did? He dragged me right back into the room and told me I had to face my fears. I grabbed this crucifix out from my nightstand, right? And I tell whatever's under there, God was gonna kick its butt. Of course, he only did it because he really didn't believe me. It took me years to finally find someone who did. And you know what I did then? Married him. You married her? So you've heard this story before. <laughs> and if you'd like, I could take a look at the washing machine. Oh, I couldn't ask you to do that. Come on, how bad can it be? Oh, pretty bad. Ed is a good dude. I need to start learning shit around the house. Ed's a good husband. That looks dangerous with a bunch of wires and shit in the water. Doesn't look good. How would you get down there for? Something's happening. I can feel it, dude. Something's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Ed, there's, there's something behind you. Oh my gosh! There's a fight mark. He bit me so just like he did Janet. He's gonna yank Ed under. He's gonna yank him. Bill's gonna yank you, Ed! What is it? What the fuck? Ew! Okay. Super weird. Speak up, Janet. Talk to him. Okay with the noise. Oh no. Remember what Mr. Warren said? We can't let bully us. This is our house. Dude, what a little champ. My boy's about to take on a damn spear with a knife. Fucking right. Janet's gone! She was just right here! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Come on. Wow. What the hell does Where's that bent-ass spoon mean? Oh! Wow! Me! What in the hell is up with that contortionist chick, dude? Oh my gosh! How did she get in there? Yo, seriously. Is this the skeptic chick? Can I... She's faking it. What? What? How is that? How the- well, one, how did she get that footage? And two, that doesn't make any sense. She was caught red-handed faking an event. No, it's, it's not possible. You couldn't have pulled this off alone. Oh, how dare you. What, what about you two? You believe us, don't you? Church, take one look at that video and that'll be the end of it. I'd like you to leave, please. Wow. How- oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm just not sensing anything here. So that's it then. You hold out a lifeline to them and then you just throw it away. The only piece of concrete evidence we've got is a video of Janet faking an incident. We're agents of the church here. They'd be calling us home even if Peggy hadn't asked us to leave. You were here for them when no one else was. I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell's going Sometimes on. Sometimes you need to make a leap of faith. Believe when nobody else will. I mean, that tape is sketchy, right? Like, they're doing everything they can. Oh, that breaks my heart. Although, wouldn't this spirit be smart enough to make her fake some shit to get away? I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Did you really do it? Wreck the kitchen and all that? It said it would kill you if I didn't make them leave. Oh my god. Are you jo Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Spirit did it! Ah. Oh yeah, that's the tape that the dude gave him. What does the tape say? Help me set up these tape recorders. They're gonna- they're gonna see him see- English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Doesn't make, if she doesn't make him leave. Remember those strange garbled messages we got from Janet? Yes. There were two of them. Here's the first one. Help! It! Let go! Listen to the second one. Me! Won't! Help me, it won't let go. Is that what he says? Help me! It won't let me go! Oh my god. Oh shit! What just happened to Lorraine? So maybe Bill is not the evil spirit. Maybe his spirit or soul won't be let go by the actual demon. So who's the damn demon? Is it the nun bitch? 
Oh, shit. Maybe Bill's just some sad old man soul that can't move on. I'd like to go now. I can't. Why not? Who wants it? Tell me how to stop it. Please, I- ah! <laughs> Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! This isn't good for me. Ah! God damn this movie. The old man's spirit is just a pawn. Yep. By who? Something inhuman. We need to go back. Okay. I am on edge. Oh, please! Thankfully, the, this is the smartest family in any horror movie I've ever seen. In my vision, he wanted to help me, but he was too afraid. And he kept speaking in a kind of riddle. Uh, I am given and I am taken. I was there at your first breath, but I will follow you until your death. What does that mean? Your name. You didn't ask for it. It was given when you were born. That's it. And knowing the demon's name gives us power over it and we can cast it out. Yeah, we need to get Janet to the church before it kills her. Yeah, Ed can't keep doing these damn exorcisms himself. I go through there. <laughs> Break that shit and get in! <laughs> oh shit, Ed! No! Ed! No! Lorraine's afraid he's gonna die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Don't tell me Ed's gonna die, dude. I can't wait! Ed, please! Please! Just wait for me! Ed, just wait, bro. Come on! I can't lose you. <laughs> I'm so scared. But I have to do this. Ah, damn it, Ed. I love you, Lorraine. Oh, no. Ed, no! Oh, my gosh, dude. I didn't think this movie was gonna be like this. This is nuts. There was a bunch of broken wood there, and I feel like in Lorraine's vision that he was fucking pierced by... Oh, shit, is that gas? Oh, hell no. Uh, it's fucking right behind you, bro. My boy's moving around like a 70-year-old. Let this dude's vision come back. <laughs> Let's go, big baloney, break in the house. What's your name? My name is Jeff. I do know your name. Jeff. You told me your name. I need my Bible. Got one. B-A-L-A-K. Valak. 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 I don't like this. In her vision, that's what killed Ed, right? Yep. Oh no. Janet! She gave me that creep ass tent. Fuck the crooked man. Oh god. Oh shit, was that the nun? Fuck you, bitch! No! Say her name! Say the name! No! Nasty bitch. Your name gives me dominion over you, demon! Oh shit! Oh my gosh! My God! <laughs> wow! Where's that skeptic chick? Bring her out! Except for his psychological and emotional state. Aw, oh, the pups. Thank God this puppy didn't die, this one. You saved her. No. We did. You saved us. Wow. But you believed in me. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for coming back for us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This has kept me safe since I was a kid. She's gonna give it to her. I want you to have it. Wow. 
And when you grow up, you find someone who needs it, you give it to them. I'm so lucky. You said one person could change everything. I've got two. Damn. That's so real. It's like there's more of an emotional connection with this girl to Ed and Lorraine than Ed and Lorraine's own damn daughter. What are you guys gonna take from this house for your evil ass collection? That's what I wanna know. The haunting of Enfield would go down on to become one of the most documented cases in paranormal history. Wow, Peggy Hodgson would continue to live out the rest of her days in the Green Street house. In 2003, she passed away quietly while sitting in a chair in the living room in the exact same spot where Bill Wilkins had died 40 years earlier. Is it gonna be the fucking crooked man box? Yep. What? Oh, that's her. I uh, can't even talk. Lorraine playing that. Take my hand. Hey. Where's y'all's daughter? <laughs> I feel like there's not a lot of legit jump scares at the end of these movies. If I were the producer, I'd put one right here. Just to be a dick. <laughs> Oh shit, the actual recording? What? Dude, I don't even know what to believe, bro. Wow. Wow, they did a great job with the cast. You know, this one wasn't as scary as the first one. First one scared the fuck out of me, man. Well, uh, gotta say, I'm glad that's over. I'm glad. <laughs> I think it's funny that y'all like these so much. It scares the absolute fuck out of me. Like, terrified, bro. Uh, like I said, that one was a bit cheesy. You're kind of funny at parts, but uh, also just the jump scares really fuck with me, man. <sighs> I do this for y'all. I do this for y'all. You sick deviants, but all in all, like, not a bad, not a bad story. I, I like the aspect of the family actually doing things that I would do, you know, if I were in a horror movie, God forbid. Um, but I like running out of the house. That just makes me happy, right? Getting the neighbors, getting the police, seeing all of that stuff. It makes me really happy to see that. So guys, if you want to keep seeing me being terrified and absolutely gooch dropped from these horror movies, go join the Patreon so you can keep voting these horror movies in. I hope that doesn't happen, but if it's something you want to happen, more power to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's reaction. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Love y'all. Peace. Don't